I am Anil Kumar sharing with you the techniques of understanding radian measure. Here is a very important question from the test paper. For the angle theta equals to minus 42 over 13 pi, draw and state the value of principal angle. It is seemingly a simple question, but here we can actually understand a lot of concepts. Now let's see how to draw the angle theta equals to minus 42 over 13 pi. Minus means we have to go clockwise, right? So the angle is theta equals to minus 42 over 13 pi. Now in this case, when we say minus, it means clockwise. That is what it means. Now, when we have a fraction pi over 13, you can treat this equation as, let me rewrite this equation. So, treat theta as equals to minus, say there are 13 portions of the pi and you have to go for 42. Do you understand? So, that is how you have to think. Think like this. Okay. So, what I'm trying to say here is, that this is my pi, 0 to pi. So this much is pi, but when I'm going minus, I'll go from here to here, so like this. So if I go one half circle, then it is pi by 13. That means I've divided this pi into 13 equal parts, right? So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? 6 full and 7th half, right? So 6 and then, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and this becomes the 13th part, right? That is how it is 13. So let's go through 42 of such 13 parts. So that makes it 13, right? And then when we go like this, it is 2 times 13, which is 26. And then like this, it will be 39, but we have to go for 42. So 39 40, 41, 42, right? So that becomes our angle. Do you understand? So this angle here, which I have drawn for you, is indeed minus 42 over 13 pi. I hope that simple way of doing makes things clear. Now we need to state the value of principal angle. Do you understand? Principal angle. Principal angle is always measured from positive x-axis counterclockwise to the terminal arm. So that is the angle which we have to state. Now see, there are three here. One, two, three. So how many left? There are 13 in all. So the principal angle will be 10 pi over 13. Do you understand? So we get the principal angle. Equals to 10 pi over 13. So that is how you're going to get the answer. I hope with this you understand how we should be treating the angles in radius. Thank you and all the best.